Greetings, WordPressers. Jackson here. How are you? Welcome to the channel, my little corner of the interwebs for a bit of WordPress. And if you like a bit of WordPress, I do encourage you to subscribe if you're new here. So anyway, what have we got? We've got sticky headers again. A bit of while. This version is the up-to-date 2024 version of the sticky headers with specifically aimed at you block themers out there. But to be fair, it can be used on pretty much any site. In fact, any page builder or the like, you know what we're talking about. It's a sticky header, but with that extra special sparkle where when the user scrolls down, the header disappears. And when the user starts to scroll up, the header reappears as if by magic. Anyway, in today's tutorial, it's all about sticky headers for your WordPress block themes. Right then, shall we? 2024 here, standard install, just got some menu items on the header, that kind of thing. And of course, when you scroll, it's not sticky whatsoever. And if we go to the admin and open up our appearance and the editor, go to our patterns section and scroll down till we get to our template parts and header, click that, clicked on it to edit it, open up our list view. There's the group that contains our header. You will see that there is a position option in the block editor and there is in, there is in fact a sticky option. Save that. Why aren't we doing that? Why? Because number one, refresh, it doesn't work. And I'm not going to go into why right now because it doesn't really matter because we want to do a much better version of the sticky header. Something a little bit like on this second tab here. So same setup, scroll down, header disappears. Nice. Already looking a bit slicker. Scrolling down, scrolling back up. Ooh, header reappears. Disappears, reappears, which is great user experience, great UX, because as you're scrolling down, you don't really want the header to get in the way, especially if you're on mobile. You want the UX to follow the user's intention, which is as they scroll up, it's possible, probable that they're looking to go to the navigation to navigate somewhere else. Anyway, so we've got our header open in the admin. First things first, well, we can get rid of that because it doesn't work. First things first, on that group, we need to add a, an anchor tag, a HTML anchor tag to, for us to be able to target that with both CSS and don't be afraid, a little bit of JavaScript in just a minute. So let's call it site header, save that, save. Let's grab the anchor tag just to do a search for it. When we refresh our front end, let's inspect the header. And there you go, there's our site header there. That's our group that we just added that ID to. Cool. Now we need a little bit of CSS to start with. So I've got a code editor open with the child 2024 theme. I've got, let's just open that another tab. In our appearance, I've installed a 2024 child theme because we don't want to be mucking about with our parent theme files. Card up there and link is in the description to view the tutorial about creating a block theme child. Anyway, back to our code. We've got our style.css file here. We can add some styling to that. Let's go grab some code. And I've got some the CSS here for our initial setup for this header. I'll just paste that in. All the code snippets are in the are linked in the description. So there's our site header, position fixed. That means we don't want it moving anywhere. Where do we want it? We want it at the top. We want it 100% for sure. Background and box shadow, just my opinionated styling. Z index, we need a high level to make sure that the header sits in front of all the other content. Remember, because all the other stuff's going behind it and the transition is to make it look rather sexy when it's going in and out, as we saw on that demo. Right, let's save that and let's go to our front end and give that a refresh. And yes, something's changed. Scroll, we have a sticky header. Now, if you want, if all you want is just a sticky header, you're kind of done at this point, but stay tuned for the, for the groovy stuff. You will notice that we've, because the header is now sitting fixed in a fixed position, the rest of the content is kind of like shoved up. So we need to sort our spacing out. Let's get back to the admin and we'll go to our pages and just to fix this for now, we'll go to our home page open up our list view, go to that first group, which is that content. We'll go to our styles tab and we'll add a little margin top and we'll make that something like, maybe that will do. Update that and, and with a refresh. And yeah, we've got a lot more spacing like we did in the original, so all is good. Right, let's get into the interesting bit where we can make this, this header 
fade in and fade out. We are going to need a bit of JavaScript. Do not be afraid. All the code snippets are in linked in the description. Let's get back to our code editor. Now, first thing we need to do is create a new folder within our child theme, and we're going to call that JS. You can call it assets, whatever you want. And within that folder, we're going to create a new file and call it child-js.js. Doesn't matter what it's called. Just make sure it's a .js file. And within our, our JS file, we're going to add JavaScript here from this snippet. We'll just paste that in and close the snippet down. And we've got um, essentially a bit of code that says, if they're scrolling down, hide the header. If they're scrolling up, show the header. You get me? Anyway, all the code is linked in the description. Right, we've got, the, we've got a file, we've got the code in it, but we're not actually telling the website to load it. So now we have to get our functions open. And in the same way that we can ensure that our style.css file is being loaded in the site, we can do exactly the same thing with JavaScript. Let's go grab a little snippet here, and I'll just grab this line, close that down, go to our functions again. And just after our enqueue styles, we're going to enqueue our script. So the WP enqueue in scripts WordPress action actually can enqueue styles as well as scripts. And all this is saying is, is in very in very similar way to the, the CSS is saying, go to this file and load it, please. And that's kind of it. Let's save that. Let's go to our front end and refresh. Okay, looking the same. Scrolling down. Yes, we are disappearing with our header. Disappearing, to, scrolling up. Oh, well, the header coming back. And you could play with that all day, couldn't you? Anyway, that's how you get your sticky header on your block themes. It's a nice touch, the old sticky headers. And if you want some more nice block theming action, here's your next uh, quick tip for block themes. But until next time, I shall see you later.